All right, so good morning, everybody, and welcome to Seventh College's Spring Enrollment Advising Sessions uh, for first-year students. My name is Stephanie Pineda, and I'm the Senior Academic Advisor here at, U at Seventh College, and with me I have... Um, hi, my name is Claire Sun, and I'm the Assistant Academic Advisor for Seventh College, and we also have Jamie, a student panelist. Um, so you can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm a first year and I am the academic affairs representative for um, 7CSC. Awesome. Thank you both. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, uh, first, Claire and I are going to review enrollment information and then we'll have Jamie answer any questions that uh, you all may have um, or any academic advising questions that we can help answer like scheduling and things like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and move on to the next one. Uh, before we get started, we want you to know that 7th College Academic Advising is here to support you throughout your academic journey. You are always welcome to contact us through the VAC, that's vac.ucsd.edu, with any questions or concerns you may have. This spring, UC San Diego will offer two different methods of instructions, in-person and remote. In-person classes will be delivered on campus with students and instructors physically present in the classroom. If you become sick and cannot attend class in person, you will need to work with your instructor to establish alternative accommodations that allow you to access class materials. Every class meeting time for the course will have an on-campus building and room. Remote classes will meet online. Instruction and all class materials will be provided remotely. Every class meeting time for the course will have a building name of our class. And then you'll be able to refer to the spring 22 scheduled classes FAQ for more, the most current information. Um, so now we'll go ahead and discuss the two pass enrollment system, uh, which is designed to ensure that everyone has an opportunity to enroll in required pre-major, major, and general education courses. You have been assigned appointment times based on the number of units you have completed. The more units you have, the earlier your appointment time will be. If you have not already done so, check your assigned appointment times on WebBridge. You will see two set of appointment times, one for your first pass and one for your second pass. During your first pass, you may enroll in up to 11.5 units. Wait lists will not be available during the first pass. During your second pass, you may enroll and wait list in up to 19.5 units. Starting the first day of instruction, you may enroll and wait list in up to 22 units. Um, and just some enrollment tips that we have as you approach your enrollment times are that make sure you clear any holds prior to your first pass enrollment time. Uh, to maximize your options, enroll as soon as your first pass appointment time begins. If you do not enroll during your first pass, which lasts approximately 48 hours, you will need to wait until your second pass to enroll. Uh, we also recommend placing reminders on your phones, computers, tablets to make sure that you do not miss any of your enrollment appointment times. For additional information regarding two-pass enrollment, you can go to Triton Link and under Academics, select Enrolling in Classes. Now, let's talk about which writing course you should choose for Spring 2022. If you have cleared the entry-level writing requirement and are, or are currently enrolled in AWP3, you should enroll in SIN1. If you are currently enrolled in AWP4A, you should choose you should enroll in AWP4B. The analytical writing program will provide instructions on which section you should choose. If you are currently enrolled in SIN 1 this, in winter quarter, you'll be able to enroll in SIN 2 starting fall 2022, and it'll be also offered winter 2023. Um, here are some various resources and tools that you can use to plan your spring schedule. Refer to the degree requirements page located at 7.ucsc.edu under the Academics tab for detailed information about university, general education, and major requirements. You can check out academic plans at plans.ucsc.edu, select seventh college, your entering year, and your chosen major. Please note that these plans don't take AP and IB credit into account, and they're just a guide and should be modified based on your individual situation. Use your degree audit accessible on Triton Link to track progress towards graduation and contact your department or program advisor for help with selecting major courses. 
um, you could use the degree planner, which is just, just degree-planner.ucsc.edu to create a personalized academic plan and then meet with your department or program advisor to add required major coursework. After meeting with your major advisor, you can schedule an academic planning appointment with Seventh College via the Ask a Question feature on the back. And then here are just some important dates to keep in mind. Spring 2022 enrollment begins sometime between February 17th and the 25th, depending on your first pass appointment time. Registration fees are due on March 18th. If you miss the deadline, you will be dropped for non-payment. If you have any questions about billing, contact Student Financial Solutions. And the first day of classes of spring 2022 is March 28th. Again, please remember that Seventh College academic advisors are here to support you and answer your academic questions through the VAC at bac.ucsd.edu. And this concludes the presentation. A video and a PDF of this presentation will be available at 7th.ucsd.edu under the Academic Plans tab for future reference.